G. Allen Incorporated brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and South Carolina State as the Eagles and the Bulldogs get set to meet for the 19th time since 1927. This will be the second MEAC game of the year for the Eagles of North Carolina Central. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Henry Fraser III. Coach, you're, you're relaxed, you're focused, you're rejuvenated after the week off. Uh, and now we get ready to play a South Carolina State program that's coming off a, a loss to, to Norfolk State. But if you could reflect back on the off week and what you were able to, to accomplish. Well, uh, mainly um, just going back to the fundamentals, uh, you know, just focusing on ourselves and, and just identifying where, where we went wrong and, and, and those uh, two home losses and, and, and things that we did good. We just tried to kind of identify with ourselves and, and, and just get some rest and hopefully we get a few guys that were banged up and get them ready to go um, this weekend. And then we definitely peaked at South Carolina State, and uh, they run an excellent football program down there. And and uh, we, you know, coming up with a game plan that we think is going to give us the best chance to win. Do you feel like the team morale at this point is where you want it to be? I know everybody would love to be the three and one or the two and two, but right now we're one and three. But uh, it's just a challenge ahead of us. Seven more games to go here in your first season. We're definitely not where we wanted to be. I mean, we we would like it to be a little higher, but. But again, uh, you know, thing the ball just didn't bounce our way. You know, we were able to identify. If you take four or five plays, we could be three and one, and, and those are, those are positives that you can build on. So we, we're going to build on those things, and we're going to accentuate the positive and, and and get our guys focused on, on what they really need to do. And and the key is focus. You know, for us, you know, we have to we lack focus at, at, at critical times, and, and, and in my opinion, that costs us football games. So. You know, just talking to the guys about coming off and having an early, uh, you know, starting off, you know, aggressive and, and, you know, and then just if things are close in the fourth quarter, you know, anything can happen. That certainly is the case, Coach. When you look at South Carolina State, they're coming off a, a deflating loss to, in the Fishbowl Classic to, to Norfolk State. When you look at this South Carolina State program, there's a ton of talent. And you talked about Buddy Pugh doing such a, a fine job there, one of the winningest coaches over the last five, ten years in the, the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. He sort of has set the standard for teams like North Carolina Central and other teams in the league to get to that point. <laughs> Yeah, Coach has done a great job with, with what he's done with, uh, with South Carolina State University. And uh, he's an alumnus of the school, and, and he's coaching from a different perspective in terms of his passion for South Carolina State. And, and he's done a great job from a schematic standpoint. You know, you know they believe in what they're doing down there. They execute their, their schemes extremely well, and they're, and they're well-coached football team. So you know, my hat goes off to Coach and, and what he's been able to accomplish at South Carolina State. You know, and with that being said, you know, you know, it is a barometer, you know, for what we want to do and where we want to be. You know, Coach has done such a good job that, you know, that you know, we've talked over the years, you know, him and I about, you know, uh, about South Carolina State and about the MEAC and about the SWAC and about, you know, FCS overall. So, you know, we, you know, we, we've had some extensive conversations. So I know for a fact, you know, given the chance, Coach going to go out here and he's going to try to pile it up. You know, I know that without a doubt. So it's our job to go out here and, and be the aggressive. And that's what I'm preaching to my team. We, you know, we got to come out and be aggressive, you know, regardless of who we're playing. You know, we got to come out and be aggressive. And I think if we come out and be aggressive and have some early success, anything can happen, you know. But we do have some talented football players, and and I've challenged my coaches and I challenge the players that you know we gonna, we need to be aggressive, you know, in, in the beginning in the first quarter, and then at that point, you know, we, you know we'll let the players play and see what happens. When you look at South Carolina State offensively, you see Derek Wiley, probably one of the top players in the league, taking over for one of their top quarterbacks in school history, Malcolm Long. And it seems like you look at the numbers, it's Derek Wiley and he makes them go. No question. He's a very talented football player. Uh, he makes great decisions. You know, they haven't changed much of their scheme. I mean, they may throw a little less with him than they did with, with Malcolm. But but he, he he makes that offense go in, and and, it, and it, when you have a guy that has a live arm as as, as Wiley has as, as and can run the ball, he's a double. He's really a dual threat quarterback. And but then you throw that other component in there, the mental capacity. That kid makes the right decisions. He makes the right reads, and, and uh, he he is the key to their offense. So you know, given the opportunity, we have we have to know where he is at all times. And if he decides to tuck it and run it, you know, we got to play disciplined defense. And and whoever's assigned to the quarterback, which there will be someone to sign every play. They can't be selfish. They got to be disciplined and be where they're supposed to. And when they get a chance to take a shot on them, they got to go ahead and hit them. 
Defensively, again, very talented. Look at Pat Washington, Dominic Richard, Dominique Ellis, and, and, and amongst other players on that defense. It's going to be a challenge both for our offenses and defense, but let's talk about the offense, what Michael Johnson and company have to do to be successful. Number one, we've got to take what they give us. If you look at the Norfolk State, you know, Norfolk didn't try to, you know, take things that wasn't there, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contrast when you look at Bethune Cookman against South Carolina State, you look at Norfolk against South Carolina State, you know, Bethune was forcing the ball down the field, trying to make big plays, whereas Norfolk was like, nah, we're going to dink it. If you're giving us this underneath, we're going to take it, you know, because South Carolina State, they kept two safeties high against Norfolk State, you know, so we got to be patient as, as signal callers, you know, and calling the offense. But then when we do have our opportunity to take shots, we got to take our shots. And, and in a game like this, when you're playing against a team that, that is this good, you're going to get your three or four opportunities that you need to convert and you need to make a big play. And if we make those big plays on those opportunities, because there's going to be a small window of opportunities that we're going to have to make big plays, and if we make, and I call them game changers, if we make a game changer play, you know, then, then it's going to get exciting. But if we don't take advantage of our opportunities when they present themselves, it'll be a long day. All right, Coach, here's to wishing you the best of luck in MEAC game number two of the 2011 season. Well, I appreciate it. That's head coach Henry Frazier III. I'm Chris Hooks, and G. Allen Incorporated has brought you this preview of North Carolina Central and South Carolina State. Enjoy the ball game, everybody.